How's everyone? Welcome back to another video, and once again, we'll be doing some puzzles. Last week, we did some puzzles with decent success, so hopefully we can do a bit better this week. And let's just get straight into it now. The first obvious move that I'm looking at here is... Maybe one of these captures. Or maybe advancing the B pawn. And in my opinion, it's probably one of these three moves. So let's first look at this move first. So if I go here, he has to stop this pawn. And he can probably do this via bishop c2 or rook to back all the way back to h1. Although, if he goes here, then I might just take... And he won't be able to, to take my knight, since... I can promote, perhaps? Although... B2 doesn't really feel like the right move, since after Rook down to h1, maybe captures here. So here, Rook h1, maybe here he comes over. I do not see too many good continuations continuations for white. So I'll first look at this line. So it's knight takes knight. Although there might be this interesting move. And that might be a problem. So I don't think it's knight takes knight. Since if here, then maybe here actually. Here. So knight takes, if this, then this. Double check. Check, knight comes back. Although this isn't winning for black, since knight, knight and rook versus simply rook alone isn't actually winning, so I might just roll out out uh, knight takes knight so let me just look at bishop takes bishop one last time just to you know make sure everything's so if i take he takes my pawn i cannot move up because my knight simply dies and if i go down then he takes my knight so i'm gonna go with this move and it turns out to be correct, which is what I thought. And I am thinking whether I can take this knight. If he takes, I might actually have an edgy check with my knight. I thought that was going to be mate, but it's not, because he can go here, I believe. So here, if, if he takes, I go here, maybe promote to a queen. Um, he takes my pawn. I go somewhere I don't know though because he can't take my rook and once again this unfortunately is not made since he didn't actually go to two different squares but what if I take that? That doesn't work either. He also has this in-between move, but I just move up. So 
go with this. I might actually have an in-between move. Maybe I do, maybe I don't, so just promote. Alright, so we're in this position here, guys. Let's see the amount of legal moves I have. So, I can only go here, which... I mean, here or here, so those are the only two legal moves. Meaning that, mathematically speaking, there's a 50-50 chance of me getting it right, if I just moved at random, I guess. And I thought it was King B6, since he does not have this, I just take... He can check me here, obviously, and if he takes this, then I was thinking of just going here. So, donk, 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 maybe here, here, and just easy bishop win because if I go here he might have this move and in some miracle his position is safe and I got it right congratulations white to move maybe white can win here so first move that comes to mind is the move queen to g2 check if here then here he cannot take since I would take since it's actually a uh, X-ray defense. So I go here. He is forced to go here. I take. Maybe he goes to this square right here. I go here. He comes back. I don't see a good way forward. Now this move definitely is probably a check. That is all I'm going to say. It might also be this move. If he goes back, do I have queen here? He can't block, I just take. So he's forced to go to this square right here. And... Do I have something sneaky? No, probably not. Also, this move and this might be possible solutions here, here, here. So white can definitely get a draw in this position, that's no doubt about that, but the question is can he win? So if I go here, the king is forced to go to h4, I believe. Doesn't really look like there's any other moves, right? And I might give this check. He goes there, here, here. doesn't really look like there's much to that line. Now I'm just gonna check what happens if I get close and personal once again with king g2, king g2, king h4. And what do I have after that? Say I go king h2, right? He's forced to go there. And... It looks like I don't actually have any more checks. So here, here, I do have this by the way. He has to go to the square h5 or g5. Now if he goes to g5, And I go here, then he can take my knight. Check. 
just sort of trying to see what happens when I do. Also, this might be an interesting move. Never thought this was. This might actually be a really good move, by the way. Because, first of all, he can't take, he gets forked. And this queen doesn't actually have. Also, I was I was about to say that the queen doesn't have any checks, but it turns out he can just go there, and it's just a draw, probably. So now thinking about it, it's definitely not knight takes, simply because of this son of a gun right here. If 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 it wasn't for queen to e6 check, I might actually be doing quite well with that move. So. I'm just gonna go for this. Hold on, hold on a second, because I'm like, isn't this just checkmate? Isn't this just checkmate in one? Why is this not checkmate in one, right? That was literally just a checkmate in one move. And I spent four minutes on it. That was probably the most embarrassing puzzle I've ever done, like honestly. I'm still gonna upload this to YT though, because I did gain, I think, 10 points out of this, so... I'm just gonna end it here, because first of all, that was not a good run, and... I'm honestly just pretty tired, so I'm going to end it for now. I don't really know why I thought for four, almost five minutes for a checkmate in one, but that was still a pretty easy puzzle for a 25 rate uh, puzzle. Now, I'm, I'm not saying it's really easy, after all, I did spend nearly 5 minutes on it, but compared to other, other puzzles I've done around this level, it is pretty easy, so this is something that's happened before with chess.com, but I guess that'll be it for today. I hope you liked this video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and obviously comment as well if you liked it, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.